when I took archaeology with Lynn Dodd, the project was to choose one artifact and to do a research project based on that one artifact. And I saw this random cannonball just sitting in a case, and I asked her about it. And she said it came from a site called Kirbet Mazra. Kirbet Mazra is a, an archaeological site in Israel that was excavated in 1968 by USC students, led by a USC professor. Lynn proceeded to tell me that there was a whole site of stuff that was just in a storage room somewhere in the archaeology lab. And I asked her if it would be possible, instead of doing a project on one artifact, to do the whole site as a project. Well, when we found the artifacts that weren't necessarily kept in any particular order, we had to go through every bag, every piece of pottery, to make sure that they were all coming from the same areas because everything was just a jumbled, nightmarish mess. It really ended up being sort of an excavation of the Ark Lab to figure out what we actually had. There were eight areas of excavation and three tombs. And we chose area one because it just seemed like a logical place to start. We realized that we, we had to start small. It was a huge site. There was a lot of material sort of all over the place. We just took one trench and started from the top. So since I was working on the architecture, this is actually what I spent a lot of my time looking at. Just sort of a slice of, of one of the layers and, and trying to take all of these slices and put them together and sort of a history of, of that part of the site starting from the top and going down to, to level three. The triangles around the numbers are used for sort of like a location within the site, sort of keep track of if pottery was found here, then the pottery would be marked KM for Kirbet Mazara. There's heavy intermixing of different time periods on those very, very top levels. So we found pottery ranging from the 12th century all the way up until the end of the 18th century, post-Napoleonic period. We don't know if Area 1 was one of those sites where, you know, it was used up until the 12th century and it was just a place where nomads would gather while they're out herding their sheep, which is why we found Ottoman pipes. There's no real way to determine how the site was actually used from just the small amount of data that we were able to uncover. The site maps that were left from the excavation in the late 60s weren't very clear about the exact location within Israel itself. The excavation crew actually did manage to mark on their maps modern features. So we went by these modern features trying to locate where the site was. We were looking at power lines, train maps, road maps of Israel, trying to locate where all of these different features combine in a place where Kirbat Mazar would be located. And we actually found that the site is about two miles inland of one of the largest port towns in Israel called Tel Dor. When I was an undergraduate student, my whole team didn't have a chance to visit the site, but a current undergraduate student visited last year and just to see what what it was like there now, you know, if there was anything left, especially since we know they were planning on putting a road through that area. So my name is Aaron Muller. I'm here in Israel at Kirbet Mazra. I searched around for this excavation and I had forgotten to bring a map but I had looked at the map so many times from doing my own research that I was able to find it. If you look to the left, you'll see the railroad tracks. And up ahead in the distance is the Mediterranean Sea. We're very close to the coast here. I was able to kind of really get inside the that area that I had done research on. As an undergrad, to be able to do the amount of work and the quality and the type of work that we've done is, is unheard of. I've always loved ancient history. It's something that both my parents always talked about and something that was really just a part of my childhood and growing up. When I walked into the archaeology lab to see all those artifacts and people doing real research, I mean, as an, as an undergraduate, is something I didn't know that I really had an opportunity to do. I've learned so much from it. I really feel like I know my way around an excavation.